Hello, this is Shannon from Rebounders Gymnastics. Today we're doing a lesson on bridges and kickovers. Before we begin, I would just like to say, make sure you have a safe place with no furniture, just a big open space so you're not knocking into things or hitting anything. Also, I'm on carpet, so I am not wearing socks because it's easy to slip. Same thing can happen on hardwood. This is a quick reminder just to make sure that everyone has a parent near or around for safety reasons to supervise all activities during this lesson, just to make sure no one gets hurt. And yeah, that's all. Let's get started with the warm up. First thing I want you to do is just run in place and you're gonna run in place for 15 seconds, all right? And then after that, you're gonna do jumping jacks. Let's and I want you to do 30 of those. All right, after that, you're gonna come on down and we're gonna do lemon squeezers. So remember, with lemon squeezers, you need to keep your shoulders, head, legs, and feet off the ground. So you're hovering like this, and then you squeeze in. So you go all the way down, squeeze in, all the way down, squeeze in, like that. And I want you to do 15 of those. All right, and then you're gonna hollow hold Hold just like this, hold that for 15 seconds, and then roll on to Superman, and hold this for 15 seconds, all right? I know you could not do it as fast as I could right there. Just make sure to pause and then come back to the video. All right. All right, now to do stretches. You're gonna roll out your neck, like this, and you're gonna do everything for 10 seconds. And your arms. Remember, if you're not keeping up with me, you can pause the video and then come back. And backwards. And you roll out your wrists. Do a meatball. Just again. And cheese. Good. And then you can shroud. And we're going to go to each foot and then down the middle all 15 seconds long. Go down. Down. And in the middle. Right, remember to pause and come back once you've done that. And then you're gonna take a seat and pike. Okay, go up a little bit now. And we're gonna point our toes, reach up, and to our toes, hold that for 15. And then flex your feet and do the same thing for 15. And then bring one leg over and you're gonna roll out your ankle for 10 seconds. And you're gonna switch and do the same thing on the other foot. Good. All right, now you're gonna try and put your pinkies together behind your back and then push your bottom out and hold this for 15 seconds. Just like that, good. And then we're gonna do a cat and seal stretch. So first thing is cat, you're gonna push forward, try and put your armpits on the ground. And then seal, you're gonna put your hips into the ground, just like this. And try and keep your toes together behind you. All right, and now we're gonna go up into a bridge and I want you to hold that for at least 10 seconds. Okay, going back and push up and try and hold it, put your feet together, push through your shoulders. Good, and then roll up your back. That's okay. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do some stations. So I have four that are on the ground and with the couch. So all you're gonna really need is pillows. I have a laundry basket and then my couch. Also, you would need a water bottle or any kind of bottle that you can balance on a pillow. Okay, so first thing, first station is just to do a normal bridge on the ground, push up, hold for 15 seconds and do that three times. So remember, you need to try and get your feet together, put your hands behind you and you push through your shoulders and push through your armpits like that and then push and push okay remember hold for 10 or 15 seconds and then do that three times okay next station you're just going to grab a pillow just like this put any kind of water bowl over it all i have is coffee creamer so that's what we're going to do and you're going to balance it just like this onto the pillow and you're gonna lay down again and you're gonna push up into a bridge 
and the goal is to push through your shoulder so much that your nose touches the coffee creamer. Done. So you lay down, push up, and you're gonna try to push and touch, just like that. And I want you to try to do that at least five times, okay? All right. So, the next station, right here, this is just a normal pillow and a couch. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on the pillow, put your feet up on the couch, bridge up, and you're gonna hold it for 15 seconds and do that three times, okay? Like this, lay flat, feet flat on the couch, push up, and hold it, all right? And when that becomes easy, you're gonna do that again, but then you're gonna kick with your good foot. And you're gonna try and kick as hard as you can and do that five times with your good leg. All right? And then, when you feel like you have enough power, you're gonna push up, you gotta kick with your good foot, mine's my right foot, kick as hard as you can and push all the way over into a lunge. And then if that becomes too easy, so try kicking over five or three times. If kicking from the pillow or with the couch over is getting really easy and you need a lower surface to work on, you can try doing it with just a laundry basket. You can see it's a little bit shorter than the couch. It really depends on what kind of couch you have. You can also use a smaller ottoman or just using it on the side of your bed. Anything like that works. So same thing here, you would put your feet up on the laundry basket, like this, and then you're going to push up, like that. And a good thing to help with this is to walk your hands in first, make your bridge smaller, and then push over. And that makes it a little bit easier to kick all the way over. So try doing that at least three times, and you can go up to five if you really want to work on that spot. Because if it's hard to do it from here, keep working it from that level. And then when it's really easy at this level, you can try it on the ground. And you can try doing that from the ground. And when you're on the ground, the best thing to do here is to make your bridge as small as possible. So it's really easy to push over your shoulders. So I can't do it on the ground personally, but best way to do it, push up. Put your feet together and rock like this and push your shoulders over your arms. Just like that. Okay? And try doing that about 15 times and then come on down. And you can just keep rocking until you feel like your shoulders are stretching more and more. Okay? And those are our drills just for here. Okay, now we're going to do two different stations right here with the wall or doors, whatever works. And uh, one is gonna be just for a bridge stretching workout, just to shake your shoulders over yourself more. And then the other ones that help with your kickover. So the first one is just lay flat and you're gonna um, try and walk your feet up as high as you can and then try and straighten out your legs. So I'm gonna go like this, flat. And then I'm just gonna push up into a normal bridge first. And then I'm gonna walk up and try and straighten them out. And then bring them lower and see how low I can go with them straight. Just like that. And then come down gently. If you want extra padding, you can put a pillow right there below you. Try doing that three times. Try and hold it for 15 seconds. You really wanna try and push and open up your shoulders. And straightening your legs is pushing all the weight over to your shoulder. And then for the second one is the kickover. It's very similar to what we just did, but instead of focusing on straightening your legs, it's more of the kicking motion. So you're gonna climb up, try and get as high as you can, get your shoulders over your hands as high as you can, and then you're gonna kick with your good leg as hard as you can and see if you can make it over. If you can't, then just try kicking up and coming down, kicking up and coming down, and do that three times. So, like this. Just flat, 
start on the ground. And then work your way up. And then you're gonna kick, kick, and then feel until it's nice. There we go. Like that. So don't try and kick over. If you feel like you're not gonna make it because you don't wanna fall on your head, hurt your neck, only kick over if you feel like you are clear. And always put pillows down beneath you if you need it. If you feel like you might fall down, put a blanket down or something. But just don't rely on the ground always. All right. Okay, now it's time to cool down. After doing a ton of bridges, I know it's gonna hurt. It hurts your wrists a bunch. It hurts your neck, your shoulders, your back. I know, <laughs> I get it. So first thing, just roll out your wrists. I know them are definitely hurting right now. This. I'm really moving, take them out, here, down. Do everything for about 10 seconds. Don't go as fast as I am. And shake them, and you can back up. You can push forward and back. Going sideways, side to side. Really get those guys out, because I know they're hurting. Good, and on the back. All right, now we're just gonna relax our back. So a big one that helps me is seal stretch. Let's go like this, and we're gonna hold it. Make sure and hold everything for about 10 to 15 seconds. This and a cat. Keeping those yarns. Make sure to push through your shoulders. And then we're just gonna roll out our back now. So it's super easy. You just roll up in a ball. And rock. Yep, and just do a couple of those, like five. And then after that, your hands are still hurting, because I know mine do. Just shake them out, pull them out, just like that. Good, all right. And now some homework for you to do after this. I just want you to practice doing your bridges, trying to hold them for 15 seconds. Um, do that five times. If it really hurts, do it less. You don't wanna like strain your back, so just do as much as you can. Uh, do try putting your feet up on the couch and just kick. Just kick as many times as you can until you feel like you're getting farther and farther each time. And then walking your feet up on the wall and kicking over is really helpful too. Those are super easy. You can do them anywhere in your house, whenever. So just make sure you have a clear area that you're not kicking into anyone. You don't wanna hit anyone. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you had a good time.